Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, first, if you can please add yourself to the uh, to the agenda. And is there anything that is not on the schedule that people would like to talk about? Okay, so it's quite a short agenda today, so we may have a short uh, may have a short meeting. Okay, so uh, as always, we have uh, three conversations or three talks. Let's see, do we have Jeffrey on? No, we don't. Okay, so we have the um, so we have this particular call. We have every other every other Monday we have the CNCF Telecom User Group talk. Uh, the next one is this coming Monday. Uh, that is interposed with the NSM document call, which occurs also every other uh, every other Monday. So the CNCF <coughs> Telecom User Group occurs every first and third Monday. The NSM document, sorry, the NSM use case call occurs every second, fourth, and fifth uh, Monday. Uh, we also have an NSM document call every Wednesday at uh, uh, at all of these are at 8 a.m. So the NSM document call. Uh, the reason I was asking for Jeffrey was Jeffrey was going to bring it up today to talk about uh, to talk about the frequency. So we've gotten a lot accomplished on there. And he's talking about reducing the uh, the frequency to perhaps a biweekly, uh, but uh, I think he's probably the best person to to drive that. Um, we so in terms of events, we have a talk accepted into the DPDK user space, uh, which is going to occur in Bordeaux, France, and so this is where we talk about. Uh, where is DPDK being used in with uh, with conjunction with NSM? And um, I also want to talk about what I where I see the future of of DPDK, uh, also in relation to to NSM. Um, that is going to be on I, sometime between September 9th through nineteenth uh, through twenty first. Uh, we have Open Networking Summit coming up in Europe. Uh, the call for paper is closed, uh, and I believe we're still pending uh, to see what the results of that are. Um, we have Open Source Summit. Um, the call for paper for Open Source Summit is also closed. We had uh, a talk by Nikolai submitted and a talk by uh, Radoslav and Ivana submitted. Um, one is an intro and the other one is uh, experiences on building a CNF. We have in November 14th or 15th, we have ISTACON. Um, so ISTACON is going to occur in Sofia. The call for paper has already been closed and Ivana's, Ivana's talks has already been, has already been accepted into it. Um, we have KubeCon North America. Call for papers closes in July 12th, so three days from now. Uh, so, if you have not if if you have not uh, submitted a talk yet and you intend to do so, um, now's the now's the time to do it. Um, if anyone wants help putting together a uh, a talk, uh, definitely also feel free to reach out to uh, to me or to Ed or to or to Nikolai, and we'll we'll help you put together and compose your your thoughts. Um, we we definitely will have talks. Uh, we have we have to make a decision on uh, project intro and deep dive, uh, and we're given the option of two 35 minute talks or one 85 minute talk. Um, and so we we may opt for the for the longer period. 
uh, and, and to, in order to show off some more advanced uh, information. But uh, that's something we'll have to we'll have to discuss. <coughs> um, I I also will be submitting a talk as well. So I've been working with the tungsten fabric people uh, to get them onboarded onto um, uh, and to get them onboarded onto uh, network service mesh. And so if all that goes well, then we should be doing a talk with them. Um, assuming it gets accepted. We have EnvoyCon coming up um, and the call for papers close or proposals calls uh, is finished on July 12th. So let's see, EnvoyCon, I don't think we have a uh, location for, th for that listed. That'll be in San Diego, it's co-located um, with uh, KubeCon. Uh, we have Edge, Edge Computing World, so that's a, a new thing that's coming up uh, and detailer to be announced. Um, it's, it'll be December 10th through 11th, and that's going to be at the, uh, and that'll be at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View. Uh, and we have Edge Congress in Austin coming up on November 6th. So if you have any other events that you think would be useful, please add them on here. Um, and with that, uh, we have the social media community team. So I, I believe I saw Lucina on here. So Lucina, you have the floor. Thank you. Yeah, great. Uh, so the N Service Mesh Twitter account gained 17 more followers this week and followed 56 more accounts. We tweeted and retweeted 11 times, posting about KubeCon China, recap, stats, videos of network service mesh talks. Also reminded folks about the CFPs due for KubeCon North America and EnvoyCon. Retweeted um, an interesting Cisco podcast talking about serverless and network service mesh and found an interesting article, why telcos are going cloud native. Uh, this week, I plan to search for uh, mentions of network service mesh, retweet those, engage with those, post about upcoming events, uh, make the announcement for the initial release when available, and some more reminders about CFPs closing this Friday, and take a look at news coming out of OSS Japan, which is starting next week. Um, it looks like the OVS Orbit podcast interview was recorded and the OVS Orbit folks are taking a break until August. Do we happen to have a release date of the Network Service Mesh podcast? So the, the recording was postponed because I got I got really sick. Um, and so it's, it's postponed until this next Tuesday. I think it's next, yeah. Uh, onto the 16th. Oh, okay, sounds good. So once uh, once that happens, and then we'll uh, we'll give as many details as we uh, as as we can without spoiling the fun. Looking forward to it. Hope you're feeling better. Thank you. And there's a remaining item on here from last week, the call for demos at the Kubernetes community meetings, which are held Thursdays at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Ooh, interesting. We'll have to see if there's, uh, if there's uh, something that we want to show off in one of those. Yeah, it seems like an ongoing thing. I don't think that it is urgent for this week. And it actually looks like their future demos are booked through the first half of August. Okay, so let me see. Demo slots are 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll definitely, we'll definitely have to do something with that. So that'll be a, that'll be a fun one.
Okay, so in terms of uh, so in terms of KubeCon, is there anyone here who is putting uh, who is putting something forward? Yes, uh, I believe on behalf of the CNF testbed and network service mesh integration, Nicola, Yang Yu, and Taylor will be submitting a CFP to KubeCon North America. Okay. So I've also, yeah, just to make it a bit easier for people, I've added a, a quick template of, uh, of information on here so that, um, it's it's more about uh, if if you want to know what questions are asked, um, then that's a list of all the it's it's a list of most of the questions. There's a couple of questions I left off, uh, but there's a but there's a template that uh, that's useful on there. Um, let's see. With that, uh, I don't think we the we we don't have. Um, we don't have as many people here today. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, so the agenda is a bit uh, is is a bit short. So, is, is there anything else that anyone wants to that anyone wants to talk about? Okay, I got one last thing. Then, um, I, is there is there anyone here who has uh, experience with uh, with tungsten fabric? And uh, the reason why I'm asking is we're, I'm going to be giving a talk on Thursday to their, I think it's their technical steering committee. Uh, so they have one every Thursday at 10 a.m. And so I'm gonna be describing what uh, network service meshes to them and seeing if we can get support from, from, that, from uh, the team. That way that we can uh, get someone to to start building uh, tungsten fabric support into into some NSM stuff. So, uh, if so, if anyone has any uh, any uh, experience with tungsten fabric, um, then definitely ping me because one of the things I want to make sure that we do is we uh, is we find the alignment between between us and them. And I am working with. Uh, with a team member of theirs to help find that alignment, uh, but uh, additional information from from others is, is definitely is definitely helpful. Uh, and oh yes, thank you, uh, Lucina. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do you need to have uh, uh, hardware? Do you need to have specialized hardware, or do they have like a simulator or something for something fabric? <laughs> so. In terms of in terms of specialized hardware, I, I don't think there's any specialized hardware that that's necessary for it. So it is uh, it is a software defined uh, network, and they have a so they they have something that's similar to to VPP. It's called vRouter, um, and so my my understanding is that they can they can add vRouter in as a one option is is a southbound uh, data plane in Kubernetes. A second option would be similar how we stick VPP into a pod, um, and then we program special services. Uh, they're actually actively working on something that does that. Uh, a third option is to include uh, services from an existing tungsten fabric in implementation using ENSM. Uh, it could create. It could have special hardware attached to it, uh, but it's not uh, not necessary. Uh, they do apparently have the the ability to to drive uh, special hardware, though, if if they uh, if if it's available. D does it answer your question? Oh uh, yes, yeah, thanks. Cool. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to see what we can uh, what we can do with that. Uh, um, let's see. Lucina added one other one other item as well. Do you, do you want to talk a little bit about that, Lucina? Uh, 
Oh, sure. I attended the CNCF TOC meeting last Tuesday, and the SIG security group had a brief presentation, and they are one of the first approved of the new CNCF special interest groups, and it's a special interest group security. And they are putting together their first five security assessments of CNCF hosted projects. And I noticed that, or, and also in Toto is a pending project. They will be giving a presentation today to see if they're voted in as a CNCF hosted project, not yet included in CNCF. Um, but in Toto has it is an example of one of the assessments that will be done by the security um, special interest group and OPA open policy agent is a sandbox CNCF project, which is in progress. And I noticed that to be scheduled network service mesh is listed. And so I wasn't sure if the SIG security group had reached out to network service mesh yet, but I thought that it would be good to have that on our radar. If there's anything we can do to prepare um, or at least be aware. Yeah, thanks for thanks for bringing this up. So, uh, yeah, I I'm actually look, really looking forward to the security assessment. So, I mean, there's definitely a lot of work that we need to do. Um, I I don't think this is uh, this project will succeed without good security assessments and us spending uh, spending the time to make sure that that this is uh, that this is a secure solution and so. Um, one thing to think about uh, this, we're, we're not going to pull the, we're, we're not going to, to, to push on this at this particular point, but uh, one thing to think about is I, I would love to be able to get additional companies to also do their own independent security assessments on network service mesh. And uh, the more eyeballs we can get on this, the, uh, the, the better. Uh, but once we're, once we're a bit further along, then being able to to uh, to get several companies to uh, who are depending on network service mesh or want to depend on network service mesh to to bring in these these third party independent uh, uh, security uh, assessors, I think would be would be hugely hugely beneficial beneficial. So. Uh, so keep keep that in mind, and if you if you think of that you know of any group who uh, or company who would be good in that particular space, um, then when when the time comes and we're a bit more mature, we'll definitely ask for for recommendations and uh, and for help in in making that happen. So. Uh, the first one will will definitely be this uh, will al will almost certainly be this uh, this CNCF provided one though. So let's see. And we had one last one posted to Slack. Proposed SIGs for CNCF. So with traffic of being uh, being listed as a new SIG. So yeah, thanks for pointing this out. I was not aware of this. Um, and so. Do you, do you know what the process is by any chance for this? On last week's TOC call, there was a verbal, does anyone have any other SIGs you'd like to propose? Um, no one verbalized it at, in that call. And I believe there's also a submit a pull request and answer a few questions. <laughs> through github okay so the place to watch is uh is github for the um for the creation of it it's a new process so i'm not entirely sure of all the details i think in the toc meeting notes after it was verbalized does anyone have any sigs you'd like to propose i think it was followed up with here's a link that you can follow so i can look into that and uh share what I find. Cool. Yeah, not not too important at this point. I just want to make sure that once, um, if this sig does get started, that that we're we're on top of it and we can uh, we can make a decision on 
it, it, it's, it's better to look at it and make a decision like this is, is this something that that would be useful to get involved with uh, or, or not rather than not attending because we didn't know about it so definitely thanks for thanks for bringing this up um, and so yeah so let's so let's let's keep an eye on that and I think that is something that uh, we can we can definitely help with um, Great. With that, is there is there anything else that uh, anyone wants to bring up, or uh, we can yield back half an hour of time? Seems no. <laughs> cool. Well, with that, uh, thank you, everyone. We will be meeting at the same time next week, so we'll see, see you all then. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Yeah.